Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know at this time. Important messages for Scorpio. We have Glow Up. Mm. So you are glowing up Scorpio. You might have changed certain things about your appearance. We have nostalgia. Someone is thinking about you. They're feeling very nostalgic. This is an energy of X. Someone is replaying certain events, like I said, over and over again in their head. They sees you. Um, they sees you differently. Mm -hmm. What else we have for Scorpio? Let go card. So you are taking back control. We have cycle and by doing this you ending past patterns karmic cycles we have commitment at the bottom of the deck wow mm -hmm. so what i'm getting here is scorpio that someone here wants to claim you someone wants to have a higher level of commitment i also have very strong energy of 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 your ex okay of someone with whom you might share history with but this person sees you differently now. They see that certain things might have changed. Um, at the time I feel this person disconnected, something here didn't work out. But with the cycle, they want to come back. They want to repeat cycle. They feel unfinished business with you. This is someone who wants to have commitment as well. But um, I'm getting here very, very, um, very visibly this past individual who wants to have commitment with you and someone else wants to claim you as well scorpio but we'll take a look we'll take a look what tarot will tell us <coughs> excuse me okay let's see scorpio what do we have for scorpio we have a knight of cups mm -hmm. so someone feels are very sentimental about you they are thinking about you oh gosh oh fantastic okay <laughs> we have an ace of wands we have strength i'm sorry i need to pick those cards as well okay so we have chariot excuse me sometimes it happens indeed Okay. I'm back. I'm very sorry if I made any noises. So we have Scorpio. We have a Knight of Cups. We have Ace of Wands for you. We have Strength. We have the Moon. We have Chariot. So you might be dealing with Leo Scorpio. I have Pisces. I also have Cancerian Energy. Mm -hmm. someone wants to communicate someone wants to talk someone wants to be given another chance someone's trying to manifest you this knight of cups ace of wands strength they really focusing on you this is someone who's um who's very emotional at the moment with regards to your person they want to take initiative this is someone who wants to reach out i also have to emphasize Scorpio and that's what I was getting that a new energy is showing up for you someone here is um, I'm getting here Scorpio um, someone who is hiding their emotions for you this person really wants to get to know you better this person wants to get to know you better on emotional level they are thinking about you they feel very passionate they're trying to manifest some sort of change it doesn't mean that things are you know particularly difficult between you and this individual this is a new energy okay this is not energy from the past this is someone uh, who who hides their emotion uh, emotions uh, because we have a strength and the moon this is an energy of being uh, kind of a um, keeping certain things for themselves and it's very difficult it takes so much strength from this person to kind of not to uh, 
let's say that way, uh, say something that it will be obvious that they have feelings for you. This is someone who possess a, who who possess um, strong self control, okay, self discipline. And next to the moon, they are hiding emotions. They are very emotional about you. Full moon in Pisces will be very, very, very significant for this situation. Because I feel that at this time, this person will say something, they will do something, or they will appear if you haven't met them already. And that, that's, that, that, that this is what they're giving me here. They're giving me um, that during the full moon in Pisces, you will meet a new person who will really want to get to know you better. This person will communicate or you'll be in touch with them with the Ace of Wands. And um, yes, you can expect some sort of communication from them. This person will be very nice. Very, very nice. Or person who you already know, but you are unsure about their intentions because they are showing me here someone who is keep on keeping their the emotions for themselves. They don't want to be seen that they have, or that they don't want to kind of um, make themselves transparent with their feelings. That's what I'm getting here. During the full moon in Pisces, you will something here will change, and this person will will show um, they will act differently but in a good way therefore you will get a hint that this person might be really interested in you that's what i wanted to to to, to say mm -hmm. something there will be movement during the full moon in pisces there will be change something here will put will will, will move on uh, in a sense that set, this situation will kind of uh, take a ne next step oh, in that sense okay what else we have for Scorpio what else we have for Scorpio we have a nine of Pentacles a ten of Pentacles Wow very nice three of Pentacles this is super cool one more please yeah cool that's cool this is nice as an overall energy Scorpio your finances will or will look absolutely fantastic or you might be feeling that you know things are getting better when it comes to your material situation nine of Pentacles ten of Pentacles three of Pentacles whoa this is abundance this is profit this is cash this is money <laughs> this is money Big money, money it's coming. You are attracting profits, abundance, prosperity, big, big time. There is a sense of recognition when it comes to your work-related situation. Maybe you, you've been involved in some sort of project, you were a team player, but you took a lead or you advise someone here and that advice was crucial in order to achieve a certain goal at work. And you'll be here very praised and there is a sense of recognition with the world. King of Cups, that's your energy, Scorpio. So this is essentially what they're showing me. This is, this is your victory. This is your success. You're attracting stability. If for some of you, if you are in a relationship or if you have, you know, marriage, you can be reassured here that things will be just fine. Nothing to worry about. Like a, you know, just FYI side message. But this is profit, money, success and victory. And someone with the world feels unfinished business with you. I have very strong earth energy here, Scorpio. You might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the world, I have a fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Aquarius, Leo, uh, another Scorpio, okay, that might be a case. So this is an overall energy. Ooh, someone is missing you. Someone is missing you. They are longing for you. Deeply inside, they know that they made a mistake. On the outside, they might present themselves completely differently. 
but this person on emotional level they know that they made mistake and this is an energy of someone uh, from your past someone it's it's they have regrets they might not showing it to the outside world but when this person is alone they feel it they feel uh, them they feel you uh, focusing on something else moving on or leaving them behind letting go letting go of them mm -hmm. scorpio this is an overall energy for your reading now i will clarify your cards okay so we'll have many stories i will try to keep it as simple as it can be because i don't want to confuse you of course i don't of course i don't want to confuse you so I will try to keep it as clean as it, as, as simple, let's say that way, as simple as it can, as it can be. Also, um, Scorpio, this is a collective reading for your sign. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. If this reading doesn't resonate, I will be posting in another, in another, in the next, sorry, three, four days another reading for your sign so please feel feel free to check this reading as as well also please check your other placements and only if you have a wish please check the other readings okay cross watches for scorpio you're very much welcome but it might play from your perspective so the roles can be switched you might feel that this is your reading but scorpio is like a main thing attached to this situation okay so this is how uh this message can be read by by the cross watcher also i attached in the description box below um decks that i'm using for our readings uh, so if you have a wish uh, you can purchase uh, you can find them and 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 you can find them find them online okay so let's clarify your reading scorpio so why the knight of cups and ace of wands mm. why the knight of cups and ace of wands for scorpio please they really want to talk today and the card scorpio we have the magician more manifestation wow okay you might be dealing with gemini why knight of cups and ace of wands way too many but let's see we have a page of wands we have a seven of pentacles uh -huh. ace of swords eight of swords queen of swords so you might be dealing with gemini i also have a very strong air energy so aquarius gemini libra mm -hmm someone is trying to manifest you Scorpio they want to they want to talk with the ace of swords they want to talk the, the thing is here Scorpio that you that it might be a case that you haven't been in touch with this person for a long time for some of you it's seven weeks seven days even seven months something around this okay but you can expect that this person is is thinking about you here scorpio and they will deliver a message they will send you a message with this with this page of wands because he is essentially a messenger seven of pentacles this person is 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 this person is waiting for the right moment but they do want to talk and i feel that at the time this is someone who will try to explain themselves and they will say something about that at the time they they couldn't do much because their hands were tight and i feel that you know you can expect some sort of kind of an apology or they coming here to clear the air about a specific and very particular situation and they will say something about well it couldn't move or i was unable to do that my hands were tight this person in general will, will try to explain why at certain time, uh, point of the time, uh, they were unable to, to take some sort of action or to change their circumstances. Something to do them being limited or having limited resources or being unable to make a move. Okay. 
it can be about resources because we have a six of pentacles with the queen of swords mm, i'm getting your energy here scorpio i feel that you will listen to them what they're about to say but um, i don't feel you will be saying much you'll be just sitting here like this beautiful queen of swords and let them talk and kind of a process those information what they will be telling you uh, and you will just because queen of swords she has very clear mind very clear insight she possesses clarity and she expects she expects nothing but the truth and that's what i feel you are here like a judge i feel that you will kind of a uh, because of this person past situation and they they, they very clearly feel here that they need to explain something to you, especially something to do them being unable to take a certain action at some, at some point. I feel that you will be listening to them and kind of trying to, trying to um, judge the situation, this, this, this situation or what they are saying to you. If the, in this kind of way, uh, if this person is 100% truth, or true or what they're saying if if that's the truth what they are saying here temperance is here next to the six of pentacles it seems that this person really wants to make amends okay you might be dealing with sagittarius but they do want to reconcile these cards are not you know challenging cards let's say i i i'm not say i i try to avoid you know <laughs> calling certain cards you know bad cards or kind of no there are no bad cards in tarot they are just challenging of course it's my opinion um i see tarot in general as a, as a something incredibly wonderful and also there are cards in a deck that can be quite challenging and difficult However, this combination shows someone who really wants to talk and balance things out with you. They want to bring balance to the situation. They want to bring peace and they do want to reconcile with you. That's what I'm having here. Okay, so let's see this moon. Why the moon? Why the moon for Scorpio, please? Why the moon for Scorpio? Why the moon for Scorpio, please? My gosh, they really want to talk. Look how many cards we're getting. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Six of Wands, Three of Cups, Hangman. It can be someone from, uh, yeah, at, from your work or someone from your close related environment, friends, colleague, friend of a friend. Someone here has hidden, um, they have feelings, but they are not uh, showing it. This is someone who I feel it's taking a long time. Again, what I'm seeing here with this Knight of Pentacles is someone that you've known for some time. With the Two of Swords, yeah, they are trying to, uh, they, they are keeping it for themselves. Mm. Two of Swords, they kind of, um, This, this is giving me some sort of distraction next to Six of Wands. So you might be dealing here with someone who indeed has feelings for you because that's what they're showing me, that this person has. But they've never really expressed those feelings to you. With the Two of Swords, this is someone who's, uh, who is shielding themselves because they're scared of being hurt. And um, every time when maybe they look at you something, they will do, so, do they will, you know, kind of, catch themselves doing this and immediately they will try to kind of distract the, or they create distraction with the six of wands but at the end of the day this is someone who really wants your attention they do want you they, they want your attention and they want to appear in front of you as someone who has something to offer like a like a like a winner someone who who is uh, who has who is bringing a lot to the table a three of cups and we have the hanged man yes this is someone who's next to you who is close to you scorpio it can be a friend it can be your work colleague 
I feel that, you know, or friend of the friend, but with the hanged man, they are passive with their actions. We have very strong Pisces. Expect something happened here during full, full moon in Pisces. Something here will change. I feel this person will kind of uh, take a step back, uh, sorry, take a step forward in order, something here will be revealed. Maybe this person will say something and you'll think, oh, okay. For some of you, if you haven't met this person already, uh, you can expect that during some sort of gathering or if you go out with your friends or if you go for a walk with your friend or with your relative or family member, you might meet someone here. They're giving me very strong uh, energy of water. Maybe for some of you, you are living near lake or near water. But I'm seeing here that you will meet this person, but it will be during some sort of gathering or when you will be in the company of your friends or people, you know, colleagues, something like this. Interesting, very, very interesting. So let's see, Queen of Cups, love. This person has love for you. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Why the Ten of Pentacles? Why the Ten of Pentacles? We have a Four of Cups. Why the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio? We have a Ten of Cups. Uh -huh. And we have the Emperor. Eight of Pentacles. This is something to do with your work-related situation for some of you here. As a collective, I feel for a lot of you because we have very strong um, Pentacle energy, Earth. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This is like work. Mm -hmm. It's showing here that um, for some of you, there was a situation that you advise someone uh, and it was a very, very good advice. With, for some of you, you rejected someone else's suggest suggestion or you rejected someone else's um, offer or you kind of, um, you took your time and you thought, well, I don't think it's a good idea. Therefore, you were qu kind of uh, quiet about it and at the end, it just, you, 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 you didn't um, do something with some sort of information or what yeah, it's quite difficult for me to explain or what happened was that i feel that you you that you received some sort of information but you were thinking about it and you thought um i'm not quite sure if it's a good idea that's what they're giving me here and it was um, it was it was the it was like a right assessment of the situation Ten of Cups, the Emperor, Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a very strong, uh, again, work-related situation. Therefore, you can expect here, Scorpio, promotion that will give you a better stability. With the Emperor, you can, I don't know, it, it's just giving me some sort of, uh, someone who is in a position of authority. You can expect because of your right judgment about something here, it can it can be uh, some sort of um, um, project you are involved, work you are a team player, or something to do with others. You can expect here uh, recognition from higher author authorities. Someone here will appreciate your work dedication. This person has been uh, looking at your work for a long time and now they are sure here, Scorpio, that you are absolutely right for the job. Therefore, I feel that you can really expect some sort of bonus or better financial situation will arrive because of this person's uh, acknowledgement or simply a promotion 
big, 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 big time. For some of you Scorpios, uh, you can be in a long-term commitment here with someone, with your divine counterpart, with the Emperor, have a Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you are married to this person or you have family and uh, you might be thinking that, you know, sometimes things are just, it's like a routine or it's boring or it's not exciting something like that it's coming forward but uh you can be here reassured that in this case routine is good <laughs> okay because it brings um, that combination of cards it's showing uh, essentially abundance prosperity good luck and good fortune enormous amount of stability and if you are in a relationship in the scorpio with someone uh, this person wants to uh, put an effort, more effort in this connection, but you have a very beautiful set of cards. And even if things sometimes can be boring, uh, Spirit wants you to remember that you have someone here who is very stable and who cares for you. And who wants to put some sort of more effort into the situation. Why the world? Why the world? We have a five of wands. Why the world for Scorpio? Five of wands. Oh, we have the lovers. Someone feels unfinished business with you. Mm -hmm. We have a nine of wands and we have a wheel of fortune. Absolutely. Oh, okay. We have a nine of cups and the tower at the bottom of the deck. Again, eight of pentacles. All right, so let's see. Scorpio, we have the world clarified by the five of wands, the lovers, nine of wands, wheel of fortune, and also an, as a side message with regards to this particular situation, we have a nine of cups and the tower. Someone is having a tower moment here, Scorpio. You might be dealing with Aries, Gemini, and I have very strong fixed energy. So another Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. Someone wants to repeat cycle with you. They feel unfinished business with you. This, this is something to do with love because we have a lover's connection. I feel that there was a particular situation that maybe your last conversation uh, was uh, quite heated, right? There was exchange, passionate exchange of, 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 of opinions. You had an argument with this person. There was a conflict. This person wants to come back here, Scorpio, and it's very, very clear message. This is a very clear message. However, with the Nine of Wands, this person hurt you emotionally. This is a card of Wounded Warrior. And because of that, you don't trust this situation. I feel this is what we're talking about here, about someone who wants to clear the air. They want to um, explain why certain situation or the circumstances that they they've been put you know that they were put at the time and something here to do something here to do with them not being able to kind of uh move something forward that, that, that they were blocked or they their hands were tight something like this they coming back here they want to repeat cycle with you this is someone who feels that you both are destined for each other they they feel this very strong soul connection with you they don't want to give up they want to claim you they want to have a high level of commitment with you here mm -hmm. this is someone and this is what they what they're giving me when they approach you this this is this is this is giving me like a stepping from their comfort zone this person is i don't feel they are doing uh, this on a normal daily basis reaching out to someone trying to explain themselves because nine of cups is showing someone who is very uh, confident but also who can be quite selfish therefore this nine of cups they are waiting for people to approach them and now they are forced to leave their comfort zone and if they want to have a conversation with you they have to approach you because with this energy scorpio i don't see you chasing no 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 
you are chasing no one. But be reassured here with this card, this person, with this card, this person feels unfinished business with you. They do want to be given another chance in order to be in a commitment or relationship with you. But things, I feel that there, there was a conflict or there is still a conflict or there was an argument. You don't trust this person. They are having tower moment. This person is it's, it's, it's getting some sort of realization how strong uh, this, 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 how strong their feelings are for you. Something here hit hard this person, in this person's life. And again, this is what I'm getting. On the outside, they might present themselves as they doing fabulous, that everything is fine. But the reality is this, the tower, this person is having a tower moment and it's challenging and it's difficult and it makes them think. And more than think, more they think, they thinking and seeing you as they wish fulfillment. And also this person doesn't want to lose opportunity to be with you. There you go. This is exactly what I was talking about. They will come forward like a sudden realization. They are having a tower moment. They will come forward. This person will try to clear the air. They will try to explain why at the time things didn't work out. They will try to make amends and they will tell you that they do want to work on the situation because they are in love with you. They want to work on the connection. This is someone who wants to be with you here. We have a two of cups and the lovers when I cut the deck. They want relationship. They want commitment, higher level of commitment, I would say. It might be a case that you, do, you also feel quite strong soul connection with this person because we have quite profound cards when it comes to love. We have the lovers, the will of fortune. It wouldn't surprise me that for some of you, you might feel, yeah, there is this special, special bond between the two of you. But um, yes, you can expect this person to show up, to reach out to you. It will be something, you know, they'll be stepping out of their comfort zone. And um, if they are posting something on social media and you see it or you have a knowledge, for instance, when people are talking about them or you share like friends together uh, and people are saying or you're seeing that they're doing just fine, this is, this is now, this is a facade, that's not true. They are having a tower moment. Things are not great at all. And because of this tower moment, this person start, this tower moment um, fa um, make them think, force them to think, to rethink, to reevaluate their priorities, especially when it comes to relationships. And you have someone here who is realizing how strong this connection is and they will reach out and the main the, the main reason for them reaching out is to reconcile with you this is someone who truly wants to be with you who wants to be given another chance and who wants to make some sort of an effort to to make this work this person is in love with you they love you here scorpio big big time Scorpio, I will leave it here. <laughs> thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Scorpio, once again, thank you very much. Have a fabulous day and please take care. Thank you. Thank you, Scorpio. Bye.